Today we'll be playing Geometry Dash, but with our eyes. Roll the intro. I am a huge fan of Geometry Dash. It's probably my favorite 2D platformer game. Now, I'm not the type of fan who creates their own levels. I'm the type of fan who installs the game, completes the first 10 levels, then uninstalls it and repeats the process. One thing I really like about Geometry Dash is how simple the controls are. You're either tapping or holding with your preferred control scheme. And there are a variety of control schemes you can use in this game, such as touchscreen, the spacebar, the mouse, and the up arrow key. But then one day I thought, what if I could use my eyes as a control scheme where a blank maps to a jump? I went and searched on YouTube to see if anyone had already done this, and surprisingly, I didn't find any videos on it. Instead, what I found was someone who played Geometry Dash with their voice using an Arduino and a sound sensor, which I thought was pretty cool. But I want to see how interesting the gameplay would be if I were to use my eyes as the controller. So at the end of this video, you'll see me complete the first level in Geometry Dash, Stereo Madness, by simply blinking. And I'll need three things to achieve this. My eyes, of course, a bit of code, and tissues to wipe my tears because I'll be blinking and squinting a lot in this video, as well as crying because of how many attempts it will take me to complete this level. By the way, I realize I'll have to show you my real eyes instead of these 2D cartoon ones to prove that I'm not faking anything, even though I'll be explaining exactly how I'll do this project. I honestly did not expect to do a face reveal so soon, but for this video, I don't really have a choice, do I? Here goes nothing. Come on, you really thought I was going to show you my face so soon and so easily? You best believe I'm going to drag the hell out of my face reveal video if it ever comes up. You know how much views I can- So, to play Geometry Dash with our eyes, we're going to have to create some sort of blink detection program that can track and detect our eyes. And we also need to give the computer some information to understand what exactly a blink is. We humans understand a blink as a rapid opening and closing of the eyelid. But how do we get a computer to know that? Introducing facial landmarks. Facial landmarks are used to identify key points on a human face, such as the center of the eye or the tip of the nose. For this project, we're only interested in getting the key points on our eyes. And to do this, we're going to install and use a Python library called CVZone. This is a computer vision package that makes it easy to run face detection, hand tracking, image processing, and other AI functions. At its core, it uses OpenCV and MediaPipe libraries, which we'll also need to install. The creator of CVZone made an awesome blink detection tutorial, and I highly recommend you watch it to get a deeper understanding of how CVZone works. I'll leave a link in the description. Oh, and there is one more library we're going to use, and that's PyInput. It's a library that allows you to control the mouse and keyboard, and we need it to simulate a key press when a blank happens so the player can jump. We'll use the spacebar. Let's begin. The first thing we need to do is use OpenCV to capture and stream a video from a webcam. There we go. Now let's get the blink detection going by finding the landmarks we need. MediaPipe's face mesh module estimates 468 landmarks. The first face recognition library I used was Dlib, which estimates only 68 landmarks. So the difference in accuracy between these two is huge. Because MediaPipe provides more key points on the eyes, detecting blanks will be much easier. Now that we've got the landmarks we need, let's write the code that will detect when a blank happens. I wish this was as easy as writing, if the eyelids are closed, count that as a blank. And if the eyelids are open, don't count that as a blank. But computers are like this dumb bitch called Amelia Bedelia, so we'll have to be more specific than that. Instead, what we can do is find the distance between the eyelids, and if the distance between them hits a certain threshold, we can decide if that's a blank or not. But there's an itsy bitsy problem with that. You know how shit gets bigger when you're closer to it and smaller when you're farther away? Well, a similar thing is happening with this method. The closer I am to the camera, the larger the distance between my eyelids gets. And the farther away I am from the camera, the distance between my eyelids gets smaller. And if I'm too far away from the camera, the computer will think my eyes are closed, even when they're not. 
So this means the vertical length is determined by the position of the head in the frame and not by the eye movement alone. But blinking does not affect the horizontal length of the eye. So we can use that as a constant reference and calculate the ratio of vertical length to horizontal length. This will eliminate our head position problem. Now if the blink ratio hits a certain threshold, we've got a blink. If we look below the video, we can see the ratio being updated and plotted. And when I blink, the wave dips a little bit. The last thing to do is to perform an action when I blink. This part is easy. We want to press the spacebar when a blink happens so we can jump over the spikes. But I won't just be jumping. Geometry Dash has multiple game modes like the flying game mode and the wave game mode. These game modes require you to hold the spacebar. And to do this with our eyes, we simply have to keep them closed. But how are we going to play if we can't see? Unless you're this guy. Well, we don't have to close them entirely. We can just squint hard enough so the blink ratio hits the threshold. This way, we can hold the spacebar while at the same time being able to see. Alright, everything is done. Let's load up Geometry Dash and do this thing. History will be made in this video. Okay, so I have Geometry Dash on the right and the blink detection program on the left so you can see how everything is playing out. I even have my hands shown. By the way, I removed the Stereo Madness soundtrack because it is copyrighted. I received a copyright claim when I first tried uploading this video. So I replaced the song with a different song I found from YouTube's audio library that surprisingly fits really well. Now without further ado, here's what you've been waiting for. Words cannot express how I was feeling at that moment. It only took me 22 attempts to beat the level, but this was not the first time I tried to complete it. There are an extra 200 plus attempts that I didn't show. I'm just happy that this is over and done with. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and share it so YouTube can notice me. Subscribe and also join my Discord. My code will be available on GitHub and I want you to try beating a Geometry Dash level with your eyes. I'll give you a challenge. Beat Silent Club Step. Just make sure you have Python and these libraries installed on your computer. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.